Today's video, we're going to talk about Bing call tracking or Microsoft's Bing call tracking and how you're going to be able to do this. By the end of the video, you'll have the not just a answer, the best answer as per myself testing all the different options for this. Yes, Bing doesn't have any default way of doing this. So if you were wondering what, you know, about that question, the answer is no, that they do not have anything to do that. Inherently within their system, that's free. However, paying a little bit of money, you could still do it. And yes, I run into people all the time who get salty about having to pay a few bucks to do call tracking in their businesses. And, t and that for me, it's easy for me to say, I'll say that, but for me, it's the most idiotic thing that I could hear anybody tell me because you want to save 50, you know, plus dollars a month uh, to not have any tracking data about what works in your advertising campaign. You'll gladly throw two, three, five, ten grand a month away on advertising spend, but you won't spend 50 bucks to make it more efficient. I think it's just the answer and the reality that to that is, is they just simply don't understand how much of their advertising spend is purely waste. The 80-20 rule applies to advertising. 20% of it is bringing in your sales. 80% of it is bringing in little to none. If you want really good results, results that will scale, because the average person's approach to online advertising is this. I can afford to spend a thousand a month. Oh, no, 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 two thousand is way too expensive, but I can afford a thousand. And then they stay there for the next five years. You know, clients that do that, by the way, they're my least favorite clients. I want a client who can grow their business operational wise, because that's obviously a component, but also can scale their ad spend and want to scale their ad spend because the whole point of even doing online advertising is to put yourself in position with all the time, money, and effort it takes to actually make that thousand dollars work to be, put yourself in position to scale. A lot of people say they want to scale, but then they end up staying at that thousand or two thousand or three thousand like forever. So, if your plan is to, you know, being the big dog, be able to eventually be able to afford to spend 50 grand a month and make two, three, four, five million dollars a year from your business running, you know, online ads, of which 20%, 30% just comes from Bing, you got to start setting up your tracking now. Invest in it now so that six months from now, 12 months from now, you can actually get to the next level. Without no tracking data, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to know how to scale your ad spend. You won't even know where to start, what, what, what works, what didn't work. And furthermore, taking this a bit further, you shouldn't just be tracking your phone calls. You should be tracking phone calls that lead into quality phone calls and quality phone calls that turn into sales and importing that additional information back into your account because that'll get you way more results even yet, which is called offline conversion tracking. And you can also do that with Bing and given that one lead is not equal to every other lead. You know this. Inherently, you know this in your business. But a lot of people just don't want to... They, they lie to themselves when they're doing their advertising that they can treat every call equally and it's good enough, okay? It's just good enough. The reality is it's not nearly good enough. You make three times as much money doing your optimization of your account based upon sales and ROI, not just based upon cost of a phone call. And uh, they saw the money that they were losing by not doing it, they would quickly change their minds. But it's easy to convince yourself otherwise when it takes work and it takes upfront money to get what to, to get that extra money, if you will. People, look, I guess the psychology is if I part with my money, I'm guaranteed to lose it. That and that other money might not come, so I'll just rather not spend it. I'm not going to take the risk. And the reality is, as you know, business is risk. There is no money in business without risk. Adding call tracking to your systems is as little possible risk of you know even getting a return as it, as it possibly could possibly possibly get. So go ahead and do it. Anyway, with that said, uh, getting into the content, how to do this, how to do call tracking on Bing, 
Yes, Bing has no option to actually track calls, real calls from the website, not just mobile clicks on the phone number, which a lot of people just limit themselves to tracking if somebody on a mobile device clicks the phone number to call, and that's less than half of your calls, uh, or we'll just say half of your calls, we'll say. Half of the people basically use a mobile device to get to your website or landing page in, uh, on the, in the average market, half or not. So why only collect half of the possible call data? When you're optimizing your ads and you only have half the data, guess what? You're gonna make real shitty decisions on what to do with your account when you only got half the data. Just like in your business, if you're gonna make top level decisions in your business, you only had half of the sales data, what kind of decisions are you making? So you wanna track not just people who click on the phone number on a mobile device, that then, which by the way, it's only clicks on the mobile number. If they don't call you, it's you're still assuming they're called. And that actually doesn't happen as much. There's not a one-to-one -one ratio there. But then, but the, you also, the important thing is that you track people calling from the web page that dial in the number. Because you could, through call tracking technology, like call rail, like call tracking metrics, know if somebody called to that number because the phone call number that's, a dedicated tracking number that takes the place of your current number will know that somebody called and then you know obviously routes them through to your actual phone number but then passes that information back into Bing so you can see down to the keyword level down to the ad level down to the campaign level to down to uh, the age level down to the gender level and so forth inside your account so you can make optimizations quality ones at that so to track all the calls, not just some of the calls, but all the calls. And furthermore, on the mobile clicks to call, as we were talking about, you don't have to settle for assuming they called because they clicked on the phone number. Did they call or did they not call? You can get every single call tracked if you use the method I'm sharing with you here, which is the best way I've found to track calls on Bing, and I've tested them all virtually, you know, practically speaking, because I've been doing client work for the last 10 years and I've worked with about 500 to 1,000 different clients at this point in time in the last 10 years at our agency. So we've basically seen, if we have our method and we've seen other methods and we compare when somebody comes in with a new method, when we, you know, even clients we don't work with, we look at their stuff and we see what works and what doesn't work that way a lot of times. Through all of that, you want to use call rail. Call rail with the Bing integration. Because there's no way, unfortunately, to do this through Google Analytics, where you can link Google Analytics to Bing like you can with Google. So you just have to use the call rail uh, program with the Bing integration to track when somebody calls. So you can see it in your Bing account on the keyword level, ad level, everything like I was just talking about a minute ago. It's not the best system because the track the integration sometimes disconnects there's nothing you can do about that i'm just warning you up front time to time you're going to want to audit your call tracking and make sure that it's still working personally for all of our clients at our firm we're checking the tracking once a month which everybody should be doing by the way because it it happens more often than you think that the tracking breaks and you're if you rely on the results in your ad account to run your business, you can't afford to have your ads shut off for a day or two or whatnot. You need to keep an eye on the tracking and make sure the numbers look like they, make sure that it looks like the tracking you know, keeps working, if you will. You should track it, check it more than once a month if you're gonna be particularly good about it, but at least once a month. Go ahead and call, make sure the phone call shows up in Bing and the like. And uh, so anyway, you use that integration that CallRail provides. CallRail charges basically 50 bucks a month to do to use their program. It can go up if you have more than one tracking number um, or more, one, more than one phone number on your site to track. And I won't get into all the details on that. But basically for 90 plus percent of you, it's going to be between 50 to $100 a month. And that's where your cost is going to lie in order to do call tracking inside Bing. And of course, for the same price, you can track calls in Google. You could track calls when you either now or later in Facebook. You could track calls in anything else, even 
online TV ads, online radio ads. It'll track calls wherever. Some places it'll track it better than others, but you can track any advertising you have, period, with call rail. So that $75 actually goes a long ways. I wish there was a way to do your call tracking through Bing without needing call rail, but you know, unfortunately, there's just not an option. So for you guys, the fr you fr frugal guys that don't want to pay the $50 to $100 a month to track your calls on Bing, there isn't another option. However, like I mentioned starting out the video, to save 50 bucks and throw away your tracking data, completely, completely idiotic. You're going to make 10 times back that 50 bucks a month easily. The only time it would not make sense is if you were spending less than like $300 a month on big advertising. At that point, you're talking about so little numbers, the value just isn't there. If you're spending more than that, do your damn call tracking. Because the call tracking, people don't understand how important this is. Two thirds of people that I run across and I do an audit for, they don't even have tracking set up on their account. Even if they're spending a lot of money. The tracking data is your results. From the standpoint, it's not just about seeing how well you're doing. That's just a vanity bullshit thing that is way secondary to the actual results getting of the tracking that you have. You gotta track, at the very, very least, incoming uh, inquiries, form fills, phone calls, chat it, you know, inquiries, and probably you should be tracking sales. Through, through and inside your accounts. Uh, feeding that data into your account, the algorithm that decides what ads show and where on these platforms that you're advertising through, including Bing, use the conversion data to identify whether it should show up where it showed up recently, next time, or not, in that exact place. Because people get confused. They think, if I'm advertising on red shoes as a keyword, what difference does it make? Either I'm not there or I'm not. No, that's completely wrong. Bing is going to sub-segment all the people who search for the keyword red shoes thousands of times to identify the type of people who, set, who search for red shoes that buy versus don't buy. And they look at all the traits of the people who search for red shoes that buy. How old are they? What's their age? What did they do before they made the search for red shoes? What do they like? What are their interests? Without any information for the algorithm to identify the types of people who search for your keywords, you know, that ended up buying from you that versus didn't buy, they can't optimize your damn ads for you. So you can expect to be where you're at starting out virtually forever. Of course, that's kind of true because they're going to optimize some just based upon click through rates, but it's not nearly as good as seeing, you know, the who responded who is interested enough to respond and or buy? That's the real. And over time, the more data you collect in your account, the better your results are gonna get. Everybody expects that these ads are just like a, it's just like a light switch or a yellow page list. I put it up there, oh, it's not working. Oh, it's big as a scam, shut it off. I spent $50 on it. <clears throat> it's a process. It's not a get rich quick scheme. If it was a get rich quick scheme, your competitors would have already been doing it. You got to have the wherewithal to understand that this is a process. You set up your tracking, you do the best you can with your ads at the beginning to get them to work as quickly as you can, but you still understand this is a process of letting the system identify what worked and what didn't work for you so they can continue steering your account in the correct direction and eventually you'll get to a break even point where you are making money and then it'll just get to where it's more profitable, more profitable, more profitable, more profitable. The reason, you know, the guys that you see that are advertising constantly on Bing or wherever it is, on Google, let's say, they're making a few million dollars a year. They didn't start making that from day one. It's just easy for you to say, oh, it looks so easy because they're doing it. You don't see what they went through to get there. The people who are going to have that all that money are going to be the people who spend the time to set up their ads better than 90% of the people that are there now. And they waited long enough for the algorithm to use the data that they gave them to identify what really works and then focus on that 
exclusively. That's the, if you want to really know what it takes to make money on these ad platforms, including Bing, this is what you have to do. So start with the tracking data now. Don't, and, and the typical person is going to be so excited about starting on Bing that, oh, this is going to get me rich without having to do any work. I'll turn on my ads and then I'll be rich afterwards. And then they realize, you know, a month later, I won't notice any more calls, whatever. And then, you know, either shut down and then you're like, well, I got to make an improvement. Well, why didn't you set up the tracking before you started? At least 30 days in when you scratch your head wondering why you didn't get any calls, you can go in and see which, uh, if you did get calls or not, because it's so hard to tell when your those calls are blended in with all the rest of your calls. And of the calls you did get, what 20% of the account did it come from? So you can triple down on that 20%. If you wait till later to do it because you're so excited, so you're so damn excited about advertising on the platform that you just skip all the important parts, then you've wasted all that money basically over the first 30 days. You literally wasted it because it's not making you money. So what, what good was it? Now you put the tracking, now you got to do, you, it's like you went back to, where you were starting out at day one again. That 30 days of advertising money, it's pissed away. So set up your tracking the right way the, from the beginning, eat the cost on the tracking, uh, call rail tracking. People who win track their account data and they feed it in and they feed it in the right way and they make sure they maintain that tracking data coming into their account. And they know inevitably, it's inevitable that they'll make money if they have a good product or service that competes well in their market and there's demand for it if they just advertise long enough because it's the system's going to find you where your customers are at and or you're going to use the data to optimize on your end because it's clear as day what to do more of once the right data is flowing into your account. That said, I'll, I'll end my rant. I know this is a, a big, you know, what kind of around the topic at hand here, but just thought I'd give you some extra information. Uh, if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel as I have a ton of other content on this channel about how to make money with ads. Coming from somebody who just does ad strategy for clients all day long, I'm not a YouTuber selling courses. I have ad, an ad business where I do ad strategy for clients and I have a YouTube, on, uh, YouTube channel on the side. Therefore, you can trust the information I'm sharing with you here. So, and it's the best information you're going to find on YouTube, they're up. If you like my channel, I also got a blog at guaranteepbc.com slash blog, as well as you can follow me on my entrepreneur uh, column, where you can find my written work there as well. If you like my channel, you'll love my written work even more. Uh, beyond that, if you have any questions about anything I covered here, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. If you are looking for an ad manager, reach out to my, myself at my firm at guaranteepppc.com. I'd be happy to give you a free analysis and I guarantee all the work I do for clients in that we can guarantee you a certain minimum results on your account, sales results or lead results before taking any fees at all. From And, and the, the catch is you have to have a good product or service we know we can get results on. But you know we'd be happy to give you an analysis to see if we can work together. It, it starts with reaching out to me on, my, on our site. Um, beyond that, if you don't want an ad manager though, and we've worked in your industry before, you would do yourself a solid by checking with us and see if we worked in your industry because we have ad templates that we also sell, such as if you're in the plumbing space and you just want to get to results, you can take the ad templates that we've developed over years for that market and just copy paste those results into your account. We have the ad templates, landing page templates, and everything that you need to make the same kind of money we're making in that space. So. Uh, you know, basically whatever you're going to spend to figure out what we did is going to be more than what we sell the templates for. So therefore it would be silly not to use our templates if we've really gotten the results you're looking for in your market already. A lot of people are using our templates to start other side businesses, sell the leads, taking, you know, 10% of the revenue off the top for themselves and have a fairly passive income business doing, doing that. That's how good our templates are. So anyway, if you're interested in that, let, reach out. I'll let you know if we worked in your market and what results we've got in your market if we've worked in your market. So you would know going in what the templates we have can do. So I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.